from Salima, we hit the tollway for a four-hour drive to Conambrigo. The site is filled with ruins of different houses, public baths, and shopping arcades, most with wonderful mosaics still intact. Conambriga was first inhabited around the 9th century BC. The Romans arrived in the 1st century BC and it's Portugal's best Roman ruined site. Think about that. That is a long time ago. The House of Fountains is an entire dwelling and is a great example of the early Roman design and architecture. This mansion is under a protected modern roof. This immense wall was built for protection from invaders. Only sparse ruins of the old form remain. Coimbra. We browsed through its lively old town and the historic university. Coimbra's old town is a maze of time-worn shops, houses, and stairways. Located to the right of the Church of Santa Cruz is the Café Santa Cruz. We frequented this café several times for snacks, as well as a Fado performance. Fado is Portugal's unique, mournful, traditional music. Near the Mercado, we take the elevator, then hop on the funicular to the top of the hill and head to Coimbra's old university. We were lucky enough to be in Coimbra at the end of the academic year when the burning of the ribbons is celebrated. The burning of the ribbons began in the 1850s when a group of students who passed their final fourth year exams gathered outside the iron gate and marched together to the lower town. They burned their ribbons, which were used to bind and carry their books, in a small fire. 
representing their passage from student to profession. Fifty years later, that simple event had become enormously popular and was added to the other academic celebrations. Floats and parades came later, and the ribbon burning was done at night. Women wear simple white shirts with black skirts and black stockings. Men dress more formally in black suits, some with tails, as well as their university cape, a wide sash with various badges, a top hat, and a cane. Much drinking accompanies this rite of passage, but it's the one time of the year when folks in Coimbra don't seem to mind. This venerable 700-year-old university was founded in 1290, originally in Lisbon. It moved to Coimbra in 1308. The university's major sites all face a large courtyard. This is the Grand Hall with the clock tower to the left. This is St. Michael's Chapel. The statue in the square is King John III. King John's Library is one of Europe's best surviving Baroque libraries. This double set of arches, named the Gate of the Medina, is part of the old town wall and was used for defense.